What's up guys, it's your girl Asia and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do your own feed in braids with this super easy method. Jumping straight into the materials, we're gonna be using two packs of braiding hair. I'm using pre-stretched hair. The ends are already nice and natural looking. This hair is from Femi, I believe. It was $1.99 at my local beauty supply store. I only used a little less than two packs. To kick this thing off, we're gonna separate the hair. You're gonna wanna make a bunch of small sections and then gradually increase. I like to store mine on the back of a chair. And basically, I just make about 13 pieces for the back of my hair. And then as I go towards the middle, I increase in the number of sections needed. And then at the top of my head, again, I needed around 13 to 14 pieces. I'm gonna be using a Denman brush, a rat tail comb, clips, and ponytails. So my hair was prepped in my last video that I just put up. Make sure you check it out. It's still nice and soft, nice and moisturized. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and brush out this braid out. And I'm gonna brush it until my hair is nice and big and detangled. Then I'm gonna part out the section for my bang. I want my braids to actually fall on my forehead, so I'm making sure to part out a generous amount. Then I'm gonna be using my Kyra Shea Medley's Rose Water, and I'm just gonna wet my roots, and then brush it, and then I'm gonna braid it up and put it away. Now it's time to get to braiding. I usually part in the bathroom, which is what I did, but for demonstration purposes, you're gonna just part from the left to the right, or right to left, whichever you prefer. Then I'm gonna be taking my Cantu pomade. This is my go-to every time I braid my hair, and when I take my hair down, it's still moist. Once I put that in my hair, I'm gonna proceed to start the braiding process. You're gonna wanna braid until your braid is nice and formed, and then you're gonna begin to feed in the hair. I like to tuck the hair underneath my pointer finger and then proceed to braid it in. What I'm doing is I'm tucking it underneath my pointer finger and then I'm adding the right strand to the right strand of my braid and then I'm adding the left strand to the middle strand of my braid. Then I continue to stitch the braid. I stitch the braid about two times and then I add in another piece using the same method. So again, I just add the hair to underneath my pointer finger, take the right strand, and I'm going to add it to the right strand of my braid. Then I'm gonna take the left strand of the added hair, and I'm gonna add it to the middle piece. Then I'm gonna proceed to braid. You just continue to do this method and then braid your hair all the way down. Once I get to the top of my hair, I'm gonna do the same method, but you wanna make sure that on your edges you're not pulling your hair at all. Pulling is going to cause tension, and tension is gonna cause hair bumps. What you wanna do is you just want to braid close together. This means more stitches, more little braid crossovers, and less pulling. When you do that, your braid is gonna be very tight, but it's not gonna be pulling, which is gonna leave a nice clean look without the hair bumps. And you can still use the same method of wrapping the feed in hair on your finger and then putting it underneath your pointer finger and adding the strand into your braid. Taking the right strand and pairing it with the right strand of your braid and the left strand and pairing it with the middle strand of your braid and then proceeding to braid. It's pretty simple, but no lie, it does take practice. Especially if you're not familiar with braiding your own hair, be patient and give yourself a couple trial runs before you try it. Practice on yourself or a mannequin, but just give yourself time and patience. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've been doing my hair for a really long time, so I'm very familiar with braiding my own hair. I can do it without even looking, which is what I'm doing in this video. So please be patient with yourself and don't give up, you can do it. So you can use the same method with the front of your hair when braiding in your bang. I like to section off the start of the braid and then divide it into three sections. Then I proceed to go ahead and braid the hair down. Then once I've got a nice little segment of braid, I'm gonna start to feed in the hair. When I'm braiding like this, I use my middle finger instead of my pointer finger to hold the braid because I get a better grip. So I'm gonna feed in the hair onto my middle finger this time, but I'm gonna follow the same method of adding the strands in. I'm gonna be adding the left strand of the fed in hair to the left strand of my braid and the right strand of the fed in hair to the middle strand of my braid. Then I'm gonna proceed to braid it in. And I'm just gonna continue to do this every two stitches. 
I'm adding in hair every two stitches, except on some of the side braids, I add in the hair a little bit later after maybe seven or eight stitches just so that it's not bulky. And that's it guys, you just wanna braid your hair all the way down to the end, make sure you knot it, and if you wish to, you can dip it in hot water. I chose not to because I actually liked the way that it looked, but I might dip it in hot water on a later date. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you loves in my next video. Peace.